Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about keto adaptation symptoms and solutions. When you start the ketogenic diet, you may have any one of these symptoms, okay? In this video, we're going to show you what to do. Okay, so muscle cramps, that's usually a low potassium situation, so you need to increase your potassium levels. Um, palpitations or heart arrhythmias increase more potassium because as you lose the glycogen reserve, because you're not going to use as much of it anymore, you lose a lot of water, and with the water comes electrolytes, so the need for potassium will go way up. So we want to increase potassium here. If you feel weak, that usually means you need more sodium. Sea salt would handle that. Bad breath means you're consuming too much protein. Cut down the protein, maybe add a little apple cider vinegar for digestion. Dizzy, that can mean three things, but when we're doing keto, it usually means that you need to increase your sodium because you're losing more fluid and the blood pressure is going too low so salt retains water so you just need more uh, sea salt and water for that okay then we have fatigue okay you need to up your b1 and b5 nutritional yeast works great for that if you feel more cold especially on intermittent fasting take some iodine sea kelp you can also do uh, sea vegetables as well but you may just need to go with the sea kelp a high quality would be really good for that Okay, not satisfied after a meal. That means you need more fat, okay? When your body adapts to ketosis and you actually start healing insulin resistance, the need for fat goes down because your body can now run on your own fat. But when you're first starting out, you're not as satisfied, increase the fat, outside of vinegar, that would be good. Now, if you have right shoulder pain, that means you're consuming too much fat or too many nuts, which is irritating the gallbladder. There's a nerve that goes to the right shoulder. It could be going up to your neck or jaw or head, or even a headache right over here. If you have those symptoms, cut back the fat and nuts, and that should completely go away. Constipation, okay? You wanna to avoid um, too much cheese. Cheese can constipate people. Too much meat can constipate a person. Increase the vegetables, increase your potassium. If you're already doing that, you're consuming a lot of vegetables, you can become constipated from consuming too much of the type of vegetables that you're not used to. So if you're doing the kale shakes or large quantities of vegetables, then you might need to cut down and consume more fermented vegetables to handle this. So you always wanna look back to what happened just before you got constipated. Did you start introducing something new? That will give you a clue on what's causing it. Okay, low back pain or abdominal pain could mean you have a little stone developing in the kidney in which case you need to really dramatically increase your potassium levels. You, I would recommend a potassium citrate, like an electrolyte powder with a lot of water. That will greatly help you in combination with a lot more citrus. So get some lemon juice and pour about three to four ounces in a glass and start consuming that. That will actually be really good to counteract the stones. And they're usually uric acid stones. They're not always oxalate stones. Okay, vivid dreams, that means you're low on B1. Nutritional yeast would help you. Or sunflower seeds. Bloated, okay, cut down the amount of fat. Increase apple cider vinegar. Maybe get some support with uh, bile um, salts, like in the gallbladder formula, that might help too. Uh, if you have a rash, that could either mean you need more B vitamins from nutritional yeast, or the liver is dumping toxins, so you wanna make sure your vegetables are very, very high, okay? Headaches means that you're going too fast, okay? So you wanna cut it back. So if you're doing intermittent fasting, uh, two meals, go to three meals. If you're doing one meal, go to two meals. So just go a little slower because this could be a blood sugar situation. If you're nervous, have anxiety, that means you need B vitamins. So nutritional yeast, that should take care of that. Now, if you want all of this on a little card, a cutout card that you can put in your wallet, I put a link down below so you can download it. And so that way you could remember all these things. All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Keep spreading the word and share this video.